Hi there, welcome to Roll. Tristan's my name, and today I want to talk to you about how Roll manages tasks and how you can set and assign tasks to individual people within your organization and break projects down into the individual, um, I guess, building blocks that constitute each project. Um, another neat feature in Roll is that you can actually set time budgets for each task that you've um, got for each project. Um, a great way to let your, your staff and your team know how much time you're expected this task or each task to take. And one of the, or the reason you want to do that is to make sure that you don't have any, any area where you blow out in terms of time. Um, it's really easy for larger projects for time to get away with you on um, uh, any given area. So if you're actually saying, you know, setting some time budgets you're actually um, setting the expectation around how long this task will take to take to carry out. So what I want to do first is um, I've logged into Roll and I'm in, in the in-progress area and I'm going to go into a project that we've got on the go. Now this is a website development job, a quick scan of it says um, we've got $15,000 uh, budget for the job and we, how we're tracking we can see currently we've spent 35 hours worth of time on this job um, at a value of just over five grand and we have invoiced, uh, let's have a look, we have billed, invoiced already $3,000 and we've got about $12,000 uh, of budget left to invoice on this job. Now, um, so this, this job's actually tracking not too bad and if we go into the tasks area of um, the project, we can see that there's um, three major um, or top level tasks uh, being set up for the project. We've got website design, front end build and back end development. Um, now, if I um, expand these out, I've actually got subtasks down here as well. Um, so I've got design concepts, full design, client sign off. Now, what I want to do in this in the website development process is there is another um, task that I want to set up, which is um, I want to do website QA, final QA testing. Now, what I want to do is come through and give it a um, a, a deadline so I'm going to say that this is going to be the end of October and I also want to actually assign it to uh, somebody else in the organization let's, so let's go Michael and I'll remove myself from this now the whole idea there is um, that I've now assigned this to somebody else to carry out this task and I'm going to give it a time budget I'm going to say that this is about uh, a day's worth of work once you've got done done the QA and you've implemented the QA so um, we'll go and save that. So we've now set a time budget associated with the project and Michael um, will now have this on his task list. Now what I want to do here is actually this is ordered wrongly, it's at the top, I just want to drop that to the bottom because that's the natural progression of things in a website development job. And um, immediately, uh, just if we have a look across where this project's at, uh, I can see that um, the website design uh, is due today and uh, we've got 20 hours of time allocated for this task and we've used 20 hours of time. Um, so this task is effectively on, on, on target in terms of time and also due date, so fantastic. Um, we can also, so when that's complete, we can come through and tick that off and it'll take it out of the, out of the tasks. Um, I can also see that the front end build um, has started, so they might be setting up some basic framework and in this case, uh, there's been 15 hours of time logged out of a, um, a possible 24 hours. And there's in these other two down here, there's been no time logged, which makes sense. Now, um, it's fantastic to get visibility over, you know, where, where the project's at and how much time is being spent and these these little indicators here will show you whether your projects are going over or under budget or coming in on budget so you can quickly scan down and uh, see if there was any projects that were or any tasks that were actually going over budget which is great. Now another area of role so we've assigned some of these tasks to different people within the organization and there's a great uh, little area where people can see all of the tasks that they've got on the go right now um, that are assigned to them um, and it's called the my tasks area now um, immediately if I go up to the my tasks area I can see the tasks that have been assigned to me if I wanted to I can see um, show all unassigned tasks I can have a look at what other people in the business have got assigned to them so I can get a, an idea on their loading 
Um, and at, right at this point in time, I just want to see what I've got on the go right now. Now, just a quick run through on this, but um, we can see at the top here, we've got some tasks that aren't actually associated with any projects. Now, this area here, the first area, is a bit of a scratch pad where you can set up tasks to help you manage your day. Um, and in this case, um, I need, as a business owner, I need to pay my wages. I've got a phone call I need to make, both of which are due today. And then underneath that, I can see what tasks I've got um, assigned to uh, different uh, projects that we've got on the go. And I can see where when their due dates are and how much time's also been completed and what's what's left. Um, what I can also do if I want to is I can filter by due date so if I just want to see the stuff that's due today click on that and uh, again I can see up here the two that are that are um, uh, just to help me manage my day and then I've got the two two tasks assigned to projects that are due out today so great to, to actually really um, get rid of all the noise and just see what I've got on for, for the day. Um, so that's the effectively the My Tasks area. You can filter by, um, uh, by text, you can filter by project if you want to, and uh, date range as, as you've seen down here. Um, overdue is an interesting one, so um, hopefully you don't get too much in overdue. But um, as you can see, just a really nice area where you can manage the tasks that have been assigned to you and get visibility over what your team's actually up to and, and working on currently. So if I quickly go back into the, um, into the project, uh, website development job. So, if in tasks here, so again, uh, just to recap, but uh, the whole tasks area is a really great way to set and assign tasks to individual team members and set your time expectations for that task. Um, and a great way to get visibility in terms of making sure that uh, your tasks are on target in terms of time expectations um, and aren't going over budget. And the whole reason we're doing this is to make sure that as a business owner or as, as individuals managing these tasks, um, we're doing it in such a way that uh, we ensure that uh, we come in uh, under budget for each project. So we're not having budget overruns effectively. So, And that's one of the big things that rolls about is making sure that you're getting work out the door uh, profitably and efficiently. So that's effectively the um, how tasks are managed in role and uh, specifically uh, setting and assigning uh, time budgets uh, to tasks, uh, which is a great feature. Uh, thanks for watching the video. I hope it was useful. Don't forget to check out our other videos online, and I'll talk to you again soon.